this was locked and he come kicked it in. First he knocked her loud and then after nobody answered, he come kicked it in. A year later and Creedon DePaulo's house still bears the scars. So does he. He gave me a mean look and then he smiled and then that's when he pulled the knife out of my stomach and he stabbed me in the head. DePaulo is one of 17 survivors. Miles Sanderson killed 11 others on September 4, 2022 at James Smith Cree Nation and in Weldon, Saskatchewan. He later died in police custody. I'm just going to go back and kill myself. Like he said that he was going to go get to see his buddy, like his drug dealer buddy, buy a fentanyl pill off him. His ex-partner telling Global's Ashley Stewart, Miles had been violent for years, that he suffered from addictions, as have many others at James Smith. The meth was already out of there, but like the coke just started making a comeback all of a sudden. And after that, the people didn't like doing the coke, they started smoking crack. So that's been one of them that's taken over. The Labor Day weekend stabbings were not the only attacks at James Smith. Since the killing spree, RCMP arresting several others for alleged violent crimes. One is Sanderson's half-brother. And exactly one year before the tragedy that seized worldwide attention, a man allegedly shot and killed two people. Community members say they know why they suffer ongoing violence. And the anger that's here in everybody, it's instilled in us. We were brought, we were, we were every one of us were, were, were raised in, in some type of an, an abusive home with some type of an addiction. They point to the brutal legacy of colonialism. Many First Nations are pushing for banned police services to improve safety, but that requires federal legislation. While they wait, some bands created their own security force. Gerald Whitehead joined. The criminal, the user, seems to have more power than, than people that don't. The chief of James Smith admits the guard's ability to stop drug dealers is limited. If they don't want to leave, well, you know, there's going to be a lot of pressure onto them and making sure that, you know, we stop them daily. Nearly everyone who spoke to Global News said, if anything, drugs have gotten worse in the past year, and they don't feel safe. The factors band members believe contribute to the violence haven't changed, and they fear more attacks. Yeah, I can't give names, but it's, it's, it's going to, uh, uh, they're, they're going to do worse than what, what had happened September 4th. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.